welcome back to my video in this video i'll give you some of the most important mcq which usually come in dl ads and run exam so this mcq was based on teacher education or teaching aptitude so let's start question number one which of the following would be a second grade teacher's best strategy for promoting all students sense of competence and motivation to learn option b is the correct answer differentiating instruction to present each student with tasks that can be achieved with persistence option b is the correct answer question number two which of the following informal assessment tools would be most useful for documenting a preschool child's ability to perform specific skills a rating skill option two is the correct answer a rating skill this question used to come in the later exam so remember this question this question look lengthy but it is very important for the entrance exams so as part of the regular daily schedule a second grade teacher reads a story aloud and discusses it with a class several students are english language learners and the teacher wants to use the discussion to promote and extend this student's oral language skills which of the following would be the teacher's best strategy for achieving this goal? The best strategy is meeting with the English language learners beforehand to protect key vocabulary and make connections to their, to their prior knowledge. Option A is the correct answer. Next question. Which of the following would be the most effective way for a third grade, for a third grade teacher to promote students' comprehension of a new chapter they are about to begin reading in their science textbook. Option D is the answer, helping the class generate a chart of what they know about the subject and what they would like to learn. Option D is the correct answer. In a class of three years old, which of the following would be the teacher's best strategy for fostering the development of the fine motor skills prerequisite for writing by engaging the children in activities such as doing finger plays and playing with interlocking blocks and beads. Option B is the correct answer. A first grade teacher is planning an art activity in which students will explore, explore texture. Which of the following activities would best foster students' understanding of this visual arts con concept? Will be option C, crayon wrapping. This question also it already came in 2020 and 2019 the exam. So remember this one this time also it might repeat in term in term of student safety which are the following features of school playground should a kinder garden a kinder garden teacher be most concerned about this the surface below the climbing structure consists of a packed earth option b is the correct answer Which of the following represents a third grade teacher best strategy for integrating art with the students of local history? Looking at a local historical painting and comparing features of daily life in early times such as clothing and transportation with those of today's. Option D is the correct answer. This question is also very important. This kind of question they give in every deal at intern exam. A first grade student with a disability is frequently pulled out from her general education classroom to receive services in the resource room. The first grade teacher feels that the student is missing not only important instruction but also opportunities to develop ties with her classmate. Which of the following would be the first grade teacher's best initial response? Arranging to meet with the special education teachers to present his or her concerns and discuss how best to proceed. Option C is the correct answer. A young child with developmental delays has an 
individualized family service plan. The child will soon turn three, at which point he will enter a general education preschool program. Which of the following is a key responsibility of the general education preschool teacher in this situation? Working closely with the child's family and service providers to promote a smooth transition. Option A is the correct answer. This question is not clear, so listen carefully. The most critical period of acquisition and development of language is early childhood. Early childhood. Option 2 is the correct answer. Which of the following is an effective strategy? Which of the following is an effective strategy to reduce children's gender stereotyping and gender role conformity? Discussion about gender bias. Option 1 is the correct answer. Discussion about gender bias. During classroom discussion, during classroom discussion, a teacher often pays more attention to to boys than girls. This is an example of gender bias. Option one is the correct answer. Gender bias. Giving cues to children and offering support as and when needed is an example of scaffolding. Option 4 is correct answer, scaffolding, S-C-A-F-O-L-D-I-N-G, scaffolding. Primary objective of assessment should be understanding children's clarity and confusion about related concepts. Option 2 is correct answer. Ruhi always thinks of multiple solutions to a problem, many of which are original solutions. Rohi is displaying characteristic of, of a creative thinker. Option 1 is the correct answer. In an inclusive classroom, a teacher does individualized education plans. A teacher should actively prepare individualized education. Option 3 is the correct answer. In a situation of less participation of students belonging to a deprived group in a teaching learning process, a teacher should reflect on her own teaching and find ways to improve students' involvement. Option 4 is correct answer. Emotions and cognitions are interwoven with each other, interwoven or interrelated with each other, or interlinked with each other. Option 3 is correct answer. Child Center, Child Center Pedagogy promotes giving primacy to children's experiences. Option 2 is correct answer. In which of the following periods does physical growth and development occur at a rapid pace in infancy and early childhood? Option 1 is correct answer. A primary school teacher can encourage children to become effective problem so solvers solvers by encouraging children to make intuitive guesses and then brainstorming on the same option four is the correct answer how can teacher facilitates understanding of complex concepts in children by providing opportunities for exploration and discussion option four is the correct answer which of the following practice promote meaningful learning? Cooperative learning environment, this is also correct. Continuous and comprehensive evaluation, this is also correct. Only option, only point number two and three, that is option two is the correct answer. Repeat asking children to engage in learning activities either to avoid punishment or to gain a reward 
decrease children's natural interest, interest and curiosity involved in learning. Option 4 is the correct answer. This one is general knowledge you need to know. How many seats are reserved for representative of scheduled caste and scheduled tribes in Lok Sabha? 100 and 131 seats are there for scheduled caste and scheduled tribe in Lok Sabha. What is most important for a teacher to remove difficulties of student? National Curriculum Framework 2005 strongly recommends that teaching should the teachings of EVS at primary stage should primarily aim at making classroom learning to life outside the school. Option 3 is correct. Which of the following methods of teachings will encourage indirect learning? Indirect learning that is option for collaborative projects. Teachings can be defined, can be direct or indirect. Okay. 